Hello and welcome everyone to part 88 of the Adresing Kingdom Let's Play for Total War Room 2. We continue where we left off last time. And I was going to fight this battle myself in order to kill my general. However, now this is probably going to freak some of you guys out. But I would strongly recommend going back to part 87 and reading the comments by uh, Crocodile BP. Um, this is something I've also mentioned several times that I honestly think Civil Wars have uh, bugged out in this Let's Play. Same thing in the Seleucid Let's Play. Both were Let's Plays that I started before Emperor Edition came out, which reworked how the Civil War system works. And now, to get those new Civil War changes and a lot of the new building uh, types that were introduced in Emperor Edition, you had to start a new campaign. Obviously, I didn't because I was well into this Let's Play, um, as I was with the Seleucid Let's Play, and I didn't want to restart. I didn't ever have a Civil War or any change on the Civil War gauge in the Seleucid Let's Play throughout my whole time playing and I haven't had a single change in this. Now that's not to say you can get a very low chance of Civil War occurring with little to no uh, action in the gauge. So I am actually going to keep this general alive because as Crocodile said right now my high tier units still don't match up well against the AI's high tier units. Um, the only reason why I'm, you know, sometimes have the advantage is because of my generals, and this is a reasonably effective general. Yes, he's on the other side, and he is a lot higher level, but he's kind of the one of the best that I've got, besides obviously um, like my own faction leaders and, and the generals down here. Fortunately, obviously, I can't grab this one over. I can't. Um, I can try and bribe them over to my cause if I really wanted to. So that'd be the, the way of doing it, I can't, I can't bribe the heads of parties, but I could bring this guy over if I suddenly gained 12k. Um, I will try not to use other houses' uh, generals as much, and I'll be trying to boost loads of Gravitas boosting things for these guys, and obviously pushing promotions where uh, I can see them, like this one that's for free. I will be trying to do that, but for now I am going to take a huge risk, and I know this could come bite me in the ass if there is a civil war, but right now there is no civil war. Uh, in the indicator, and I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk that we may potentially have Civil War. And the thing is, if Civil War does happen in this Let's Play, it will be the old type of Civil War, um, as far as I understand it. It shouldn't be the new one. I don't think that was brought in. It may well be. It may well be brought Actually, no, because the Civil War gauge was brought in. With these, so it would be the new one where they'd all split off and it would split my empire and stuff like that. But um, I'm going to have to take that risk, but I have a feeling it's broken. Anyway. Uh, you guys can debate this in the comments of this video. In fact, I'd like to see what you guys say, because so far, Crocodile's the only one that's kind of um, seen this point, um, seen this um, potential uh, kind of counter here. And that's not to say you guys are wrong, or that we're necessarily right, but I want to see what you guys think. Uh, if I suddenly get a Civil War next turn, then, yep, knock us both down, we should have got rid of those generals. But um, we shall see. We shall see if I'm right or wrong here. Like to hope I'm right. Right, so we're going to keep pushing against Bithynia. Pontus still have here. Um, which I could go up against, but they've got a fleet and a navy. So, you know, what, I'm actually going to ignore all of that. And I'm going to push over here. I'm going to try and take Tannis. Uh, the Royal Scythians, I'm not going to extort a huge amount of money from them this time. In fact, I can't even trade with them. Welcome. We will talk... So, um, I'll leave them be. Uh, we need... They took out the... Pith no, we took out the Pythianian army. These guys need better troops in there. But I can't afford any of that. Right, that's that. I think we were pretty much ready to end the turn. We have got a little bit more money, which I could use to try and poison these guys now. So I'm going to do that. Oh, level 10 spy. Nice. Try and weaken this Athenian army. And we'll increase poisoning there. Um, the other thing, Crocodile suggested and a few others, if you have also started jumping on this, is that if I get a chance to go over and just sack Nicomedia, get it done. Obviously, I'm trying to build up navies where I can. Another thing I did do was um, merge these guys here, and I'm going to get a few more units built. I'm hoping we can build these guys. Hopefully, we can take out Rome with the Fury next turn, retake Little Bayum before we get problems. And you guys want me to, to uh, not Berdigala, where is it? Brindisium. You wanted me to expand. Brindisium. So I will expand Brindisium next turn um, when I have some money. So we're going to end the turn now. Oh, we've got some peeps to upgrade. 
some champions, and you guys are telling me it's the zeal tree which lets me get the, um, uh, is it warfare? Uh, I think I probably missed it with something else, champion, but I think it should have been zeal. Was it, no, was it authority? No, it was, I think it was, no, authority is for agents to get their, for, for agents for uh, dignitaries to lower the cost upkeep of units. Cunning is for spies for poisoning, and it should be zeal for um, increasing my units' um, effectiveness, but I think I don't have enough um, abilities because he's now level 10 to, to do that, so I need to make sure these guys go into zeal and just train up my troops more. I really should have this on a post-it note. I think I probably will do for next time. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm trying to work it out, actually. Let's find, let's find the one that has... But if any of them do have it, I don't think I've really trained any of them, though, to be specialised in this. Ah, it's militancy, yeah, there we go, which is comes from the zeal tree, so I probably need warfare first and I can get it. But that increases unit gains, so that's the one I'm going to upgrade next, which will be the final thing I can upgrade. Uh, what this guy? This guy does not have it. Oh, no, he does. He's got militancy there. Cool. Unfortunately, we can't upgrade that any further, but still. Okay. Anyway, where's that other? Raiders of the Sea. You guys here. Um, aha, Python. Are you part of my family or not? Uh, Pytos, good, good, you are. Right, well, you are going to get the political animal one. Uh, is it rightful sovereign? Just because I need that influence for all of my party, that's what I need to be gaining right now. If I can have more of that in my character, then we should slowly but surely be able to start gaining. I could bring this army around here to Pella, but I... Oh, no, the Salika ones are there. Okay, I was wondering if I should go for these guys, these armies here. Um, with my little fleet. I've got a Bithynian actual navy there. I think these guys, what's that? It allows them to... They cannot initiate, but they should be able to reinforce. So let's pull these guys around to here. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Oh, because they're being reinforced by their one, but we should still be able to win it, so let's hope that we get both their ships down in one go. We're going to go for balanced. And that's taken down that. Oh, look at the veterancy cane. Okay, we lost one ship there. Ah, uh, both their ships have gone. Nice. Okay, if I put you into Force March, you can go back to Pella to defend from these guys. You guys are still in Force March. We could be hit by them. They should be able to reinforce me if I go to Pella, but then Athens is open. They shouldn't be able to hit me, so I'm going to risk going around here. Okay, that was a good gain. Right, now we're going to end the turn. Hope that my ships are okay. Keep pushing along through Egypt. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Rome's pulled back to there. Good choice, Rome. Carthage took out the Catulli, so I'm free there. Carthage keep moving back and forth. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, for now, Egypt. We're going to start seeing some strikes on my coast. That's the thing. So they've got a force. Oh, they're, oh, okay, they're coming out. Cool. That opens up Alexandria for me. Great. And they're not pulling all their fleets back. Thank you. Keep them away. I can keep on striking. So Lucas is now around to here. I can't stop those navies. But if they do try and land, that is a full stack, reasonable force at Sparta. They should be able to hold... Ah, <sighs> okay. Iceni, a lot of you still saying, obviously, just throw loads of money at Iceni, get the piece there. So, I'm going to try and throw a huge amount of money at them next turn, which means we won't have much to upgrade or anything like that, or build new navies just for one turn while I do try and do that. But, it's a task I've got to try. Athens, pulling forward. Maybe they'll send some uh, army south, actually to try and help out Egypt, because their border is there. So it could get messy. Oh, you're seriously... Oh, bloody hell. Oh, 
idiots. Oh, I'm going to enter on the side of my existing art, uh, ally. Pissing cock. Oh, that's annoying. Guys, can't you just play nice? Uh, I might just leave them to it, though. Enter on the side of them and then not just do anything to help out the Scythians. Although, technically, my army may have had to redeploy. Uh, I don't know. I'm in Force March as well, so I'm susceptible to Scythian attack. Uh, I don't know. That's really annoying, though. Alright, let's see what's going on there, because I may have had to pull back with my forces. A tactical withdrawal. No, we're still here. Are we at war with them? Oh, we are at war with you. Look how friendly you are. Oh, we're so friendly with you. At least we can get trade. Welcome, worthy friend. I'll take a little bit of money from you. Break bread and drink ale before words pass. Two Ks are right. They have very little forces. Surely they're going to get wiped out by the Royal Scythians. In which case, then I'll ask for peace with the Scythians, which I think they'll take. Actually, I think I can get peace straight away with them. You have the yeah. Of my people. Do not waste words. I'm only going to take you a, a thousand from you because I want you to build back up and be nice and strong. But I do gods. want something for peeing me off a little bit there by doing that. Ah, damn it, you pulled back here. Okay, well, that's fine. Pontus is open. What? Well, are, we are we not at war with Pontus? When did that happen? When did I... I can't remember that. I'm so I get so confused between them and Therefore, Ruddy welcome. Bithynia constantly switching. So, okay, I'm not all with you guys. Well, you know what, for now then, I will leave you. Actually, you're all with all Scythia. No, not yet. Gotta meet these guys on the field then. Come on then. Come on. Here, yeah, boy. Alright, send this guy over here. I'm going to try and push north. We need to send another army up here to help out. Pontus, um, you're pretty weak. I will not bother too much with you. Then I'll send this spy over here. We're at war with Mascate, aren't we, though? Guards of the afterlife. Spare my uh, oh, uh, we need... We've got money, so that might be able to get peace with the Iceni. But before I tell, get people telling me... any. Oh, why the hell would you all leave? Where are you all going? Hang on, where is the war target? Actually, some of you were saying put the war target back on Bithynia. So that's what I'm going to do at Nicomedia. That is not a cool situation to be in. I really hope they come back. I mean, we can probably defend... Eh, it's two navies. At least they can't land. That's okay then. All right, Brundisium. Um, we could go for... Probably right now it would help with another artisan's lodging. For garrison, then I can actually leave this settlement once and for all with that navy. Yes. I don't think I can hit them this turn. Ah, no, I can't. That's really annoying, but we'll hit them next turn. I'm going to kill you next turn, Rome. Absolutely wreck you. Right, Iceni. You are getting better. Greetings. Speak plain and... A man is judged by his friends. This is not the time for such an... There we go, 3,000. I probably could have done it for less, but that's what we needed right there. You are welcome, although my ancestors and people expect to... Cool, don't you dare attack me now for two turns. Uh, for ten turns, rather. Two turns? What? Um, these guys, ships, more ships are needed. We need to stack them like crazy. You lot back into port. More, I'm going to let you guys replenish, then I'm going to uh, merge you. You guys can actually afford to stay where you are. You're in the same region, so I can't do any more there, which is annoying. Athens, you're getting poisoned. You're not getting away. Ah, damn it. One of those, was it? One of those. She's still raiding. I don't want to push out from here, though, because I want to, if anything, hit there. Um, probably got a reasonable success of locking them in here. I'll see how much money I have left at the end of the turn, and whether it needs to be spent on anything else before I decide to do that. Uh, got to hold against the Masagate with that army. At Adesos, we need to make these guys a lot better as well. These guys need to be turned into veterans. Zom, can you sustain an upgrade there? That would be useful for... Mm, no, there's not much agriculture there. Okay, let's ignore that. Let's keep looking at Egypt. Right, you've actually pulled an army to be a port, uh, a fleet. That's okay. Um, right, you guys. 
I'm going to keep on pushing. You're going to go take Memphis next turn. Oh, which, the smidgest of attrition's. Smidgest of attrition's? What, what even is that? Um, right, let's try poison. Oh, I don't I can't because you're a bloody fleet. I don't even have much chance of poisoning. It's not that good. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? What do we need? Actually, if I cancel these, how far can that fleet... Oh, they can't move far enough. I was hoping maybe we could reinforce or something. Uh, I could try and reinforce with these guys. I don't think we're directly under threat. That needs repairing. That's a food. has no negative public order. Which is good. Libya's building up. Could afford to push out with these guys because we're slowly getting a garrison here at Kyrene. I don't know where their fleets are, but they're not here just yet. In fact, I'm going to then, in that case, pull here with these guys. Hold with that lot. These guys are going to force march themselves here. So they can reinforce. You guys are going to attack. You're going to do that. You guys are going to come here. Bada boom. What do they got? Uh, elephants. I do have javelins to bring them down. What is the order resolve chance of it? Um, yeah, we should, it should be a nice big battle, actually. We haven't had a nice big battle for a while. We do have Onaga and Ballista to try and take down those elephants. We've got pikes, so we should be able to take them. Right, we'll fight that in a minute. Um, we've left there. They'll just about be okay. Let's pop that province. Other armies, other armies, other armies. <clears throat> right, I've got a fleet up there still, actually. That needs to be brought in to do something useful. Because right now... Yeah, these guys are happy. Upgrade Medellin. Um, I really didn't want to build all that, actually. But more food can't be the worst thing in the world. Let's go for that, at least. Uh, we could get rid of the Onaga. Oh, well, that's actually getting us... It's only killing some food a little bit. Yeah, they're okay. So it was the first I can move you guys before bringing you in. Right, let's pull you down here uh, to recruit some more troops. I can't afford any, just remembered. I can't hold that army place. Don't know where you guys are all going, so you better come back. Because if I'm attacked, I'll be pissed. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> These guys are holding up here. General, uh -huh. are you part of my family or not? You are! Huzzah! We all know what you're getting now. A rightful sovereign. And political animal. How are we doing on that front, actually? We are slowly going back up. So that's okay. If I can get that to about 50, then I'll be happy. Just got to keep everyone's gravitas in check. Also, we've got people to redeploy, like this guy. He needs to go somewhere. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where is... Actually, where are these guys' generals? That guy's up the north. That's fine. I can't really afford to replace you. I could change you out, actually, at Athens and put my... There. Uh, Admiral at Kyrene. General at... Athena. Oh, no, that's another place. Anthea. Yes, we could replace you, actually. Little Bayam, you're about to take that army there. So I could replace this guy here. Yeah, it's a full army. Let's do it. Let's swap him over. There we go. Replace four. Uh, why can't... Oh, not enough money to commission new bodyguard. Oh, so anyone I can bring in is the other family's one. Okay, I'll have to wait till next turn before I can swap them over. Let's pop this guy down here. Okay, alright. End turn. See what happens. Oh, cock. Damn it. I'm besieging Egypt. I knew I had a battle to do. Tit. They're all pulling away from Nilabayam. Great, that's fine. Sorry, guys. I will still fight that battle. I know I've now taken attrition. Balls. Oh, Lionheart, you mahoosive fail, you. These are the other guys going to be out of force much. In fact, we could go straight past Alexandria. They probably should know what I'm up to now. Ah, they've pulled another army up to Alexandria now. Oh, Lionheart, you tit. It's going so well. Oh, Pontus, what are you doing? Are you back at war with me? 
Oh, seriously! I... I can't afford to keep wasting money with them every turn. Ah, oh, you dicks. I see me. I just gave you 3,000. Oh, God. I can't afford to send troops up there because I'm pushing so well in the east. Well, I'm not pushing well. When I remember. Well, I've got to push to. They're all suddenly taking attrition around there, which makes me happy. I don't know why they are, but um, it's okay. I'll call they've an army back down to help me at Brindisium. They're all going to come back, aren't they? It's going to switch. Do, 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 do. Mascarte, are you going to come to throw a Desos with your fleet? No, nope. cool. Oh, yeah, why are you guys taking attrition? What's happening to you guys? Not sure. Syracuse, you're not dead yet. Wow. Ah, balls. I do have a spy that could potentially bring that army out that's gone towards Alexandria. I'm going to regret that. I am going to regret that. Oh, little dignitary suddenly popped up. Hello, how you doing? German Confederation, yay, come help me. Or not. Uh, someone was saying, can I get a confederation with the German Confederation? Uh, I don't think I can. I don't think that that's an option anymore. But I will see if I could absorb them. We'll have a look. Oh, Picton's going for Syracuse, trying to kill them. Are they finishing them off? No, can't reach them this turn. Score DC, sending forces over here. Oh, back to Popadiva. Attrition is the first thing I want to see. Ally confirms war target. No. Oh no, we, we didn't take. Oh, we don't take attrition because it's a port. I think. I assume. Which is the case. Ah, oh, damn, they put the whole army in there. Ah, I really regret that one. Ooh, what's this? The Bear King? Wow, you're a you're a warrior or something, aren't you? Could try and poison. Uh, it's not really going to work that well, is it? What would you have, of me? have you got a better chance of poisoning? Eh, maybe. We could probably weaken you. But for now, we can use these two armies to take the settlement. We'll fight this one ourselves, and we will do that in a moment. <laughs> but before Lionheart does that, he's going to forget to do something else instead. No. He's just going to check things over here. Um, these guys going for each other's throats yet? Nope. To move to the bridge, so I can strike them next turn. They're gonna get big defensive force there, though. I have to hope that we can do that. They're okay at Desos. Um, I see any what the actual hell? You just took money from me and then screwed me over. I can't afford to throw them more money we this turn. We will listen to your offers, but do not wrap them in lies. I mean, if I try and. No truth. I'm not. Will they even? Will they even open to a? Friend. We will speak together of whatever you wish, but bring words that can I'm not offering them three k again, unless you guys really think that I need to waste money again on them. That was. I should start upgrading these settlements with um, garrisonable. Increase their garrison forces. They're defended there. They're most likely to attack me probably at Flavum or. No matter Senna, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and build those two up. But I still need to put money into um, navies. Oh, they are gonna help me with taking Lilla Bay. Oh well, no, they're not. I'm just gonna finish off Rome here. Uh, I am. Just, I'm gonna raid it. Uh, raid it. Raise it. Convert you. Convert you. You're back to one of those, and you're one of them. And then I'll take out these guys next turn. They're finally dying again. They shouldn't be able to take any of my settlements now because they're all, the rest of them are all protected. I'll pull these guys down to here. Which is this fleet here? Four of them there. That's all I can afford with ships now. Those guys are there. We could pull along to try and help out, but we won't do that just yet. These guys, you build up some more. Good. We'll try and let you replenish while we can. Don't have enough money to poison these guys again, but at least they're not gaining any more forces. 
So that's good. Oh, I uh, can't even replace you now, can I? Uh, well, we can actually once we raid, once we do this battle here and then raid them. So let's do it. Although I might actually prefer to attack with. No, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go. Let's do it and let's fight. Here we go. Take down some elephants. Send them crazy. They make me crazy. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what we're going to do with the Iceni, to be honest. I think I've just got to try and garrison up those settlements in the north. I'm not going to change their buildings to military buildings just yet. Which we'll see. Uh, I'm going to wait because I want my archers. Um, I just prefer it dry. That's fine. Alright. You guys are all on elephant duty. Um, where I'm normally I do tend to split my force here, but seeing as my reinforcements are going to come from over here anyway, we'll let them be the split. So we're just going to all funnel in here. And again, I'm always going to highlight this because it's just a shame that this is the only one. I don't know if they're in it, Attila, actually, if there are garrisonable buildings. But this is the only type of garrisonable building you will see in Rome too. You can put troops up on it, which is really cool. I don't know why they never got around to putting more in because it seemed like a really cool idea. But didn't happen, sadly. Oh, I don't want lock formation. Um, those guys to there. Thracian warriors and my general. You're going to have like a little general's guard. Special units that are like you. Huge on the charge. Right, cavalry over on this flank. Okay, here we go. They've all got to try and land. Oh, wait, they're not going to have elephants in, are they? Oh, look at their ships. They're a bit different. Never seen those guys before. Huh. In that case, surely they're... Reinforcements have arrived. That's just a capture point, not a victory point. Oh, in that case... I'm just going to try and take them then as they come off the ships. Whoa. We'll see how that works. Right. Oniga and Ballista, your group six. You're going to need to move to around about here. I am just going to pause it so I can just get a hold on where all these units are and what they are. <clears throat> You guys are going to be... Hmm. Okay, we'll put you in with the Thracian Warriors then as well. One big group here, group seven. In you guys go. We'll spread you longer into here. I'll kind of arrange them better once we've uh, got a better understanding of what we're doing. Them. Spears to here. General here. And Peltas, a final... Uh, final group, group 9. Actually, no, you guys go there for now. I know I'm running every single one of them. That's going to tire them out, but that's what I want to do right now. So, you said elephants won't be a pain. All their chariots. I've never seen that those ships, these types of ships, though. Ever. Unless they have actual elephants in them, but I hope not. That's, that's cool. I thought it would be like the Hellenic style transports. That's cool though. Because it's the Egyptian Nile style. Nile style! Like it. What have we got coming in over here? Light Peltas. They're going to be a potential problem. Pikes. We'll form up like so. So we try and take them because these guys actually haven't landed yet. So they're not a direct threat. We'll go and bring my general around this way. Bring my general in. Uh, and my cav. These guys over here, they're doing fine. Slowly moving in and going to sweep in from behind. Their pikes there. 
If we could actually get them to all focus on the pikes, that'd be lovely. That's it, bring those pikes down. Bring the pikes down, bring the pikes down, bring the pikes down. You guys go against the mob. General and these guys, you're probably really tired, that's why you're going to say, oh, you're active, we'll send you around to the flanks. General here. Oh, those guys actually engaged against the pikes. Whoopsie. Our general is under attack. How are these guys doing their landing? Okay, you guys need to come around like so. Peltas to here. You guys like so, because they're actually about to land, cause some damage. Charge the Egyptian infantry, head hunt and inspire yourself. They got the pikes in yet? Yes, they do have more pikes in. The battle is turning in our favour. Of course, it is. Send these guys in. One of our units has used all its ammunition. What the hell was that about getting hit by? There we go, they're getting wrecked there. Keep punching through. Off skirmish mode, just charge them. These guys are about to die from behind with my Thracian warriors punching through. I don't really need these guys, so we'll just kind of keep them out of the fight for now. Although... There we go, just hold them tall to come on. Charge on in. Right, we're going to charge the back of them here. It's these reinforcements now we just need to deal with. It's a pike unit, yeah. Pull these peltas around the back. You guys come on in this way. Turn around the back, hit these pikes. In fact, you guys come back as well. Pull them around, pull them around, pull them around. Right, you guys are all free. Go into those guys. Over to there. That's going to hurt those pikes. Right in the back there. Kind of glitched out. It's not showing me how many pikes are left. I'm stuck on Thracian warriors. There we go. That's that done. Destroy all the Egyptians. I think we just got to wait for their units to dock. So it's going to hit fast forward now. That's fun. Oh, cool. They're, they're, land they're going to try and land here, are they? I get my Pell test. Um, well, no, they're my cav actually, aren't they? <laughs> one of our units has used all its ammunition. Except my cav. Uh, one of them. One of the cav units. All of you on the Nar hoplites. Hellenic Royal Guard. Oh, right. Black ground cab. Oh, no, 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 they're pikes. I'm just gonna hit play. Where are more my peltas? Oh, where's the. Where's my reinforcing peltas? Here we go. Because all my peltas are actually out of ammo. Okay, all of you lot. Just pull back to here. There we go. I'm not making you run, that'll tie you out, but I'm just gonna use those. Oh, show fun a reinforcing Peltas to whittle the enemy down. Because they've not been used. In you come, in you come, in you come. 
as my main force here. I'll get these guys just to redeploy. They're fresh still, so that's good. Take them off skirmish mode. Oh, they're starting to break anyway. Oh, they've gone. Good. They've shattered. So who's left? Anyone? Anyone left? Any ships out there still want to chill out? Are you seriously telling me I've got to wait for the countdown time to go down? No, no, here we go. Oh, they've all broken as well. We'll just end it then. They should all die in this. So we lost 359. Uh, not even 10% of our force, so that's good. Killed 2,732 of the 2,928 strong force. Not too much friendly fire. Most kills looks like by my general, 243 when he charged in early. Peltas though getting plenty of kills, cavalry, and Thracian warriors as well. So that worked out pretty well for us. Pretty happy. With that... Okay, uh, we're not going to liberate, we are going to raise and continue to go. Faction joins war, S oh, hang on, Seleucids versus Epirus, oh cool. That might draw Epirus into actually doing something. I think if they get attacked, the AI will actually finally react and do some stuff for me. Ha, ah, right, good. We've raised it. We've raised it all. Oh, I'll have to build everything else next turn. This army could go and start assaulting here, but they do have uh, a fleet there, so I'm not going to. We need both those armies to keep pushing now. Uh, they're going to fortify there, but while that's going on, these guys can go take Memphis, which is obviously where that army sh should have been. So now at least we can push in here. And go for aggressive, boom in your face, raise it. We'll just convert Memphis. Boom. And they've got these ones. Oh, have they taken out Axiom and everything as well? No. Are you guys... Oh, no, they have got down here. Oh, there's African rebels down here somewhere. Have your back I don't want to offer them peace, I was just seeing. Uh, Athens as well. Just If I could get a reprieve or a few I turns, that'd be lovely. Carefully. God, imagine if Iceni do go to war with me. They are going to... Oh, God, are Athens actually friendly with Iceni. Oh, they are. No. Why won't you be friendly with me? Why? Hang on. Why? Expansionism. They really don't like that. They are totally going to go to war with me. Welcome. Speak. Come on. All I have don't is this. Spend at hunting. I'm going to get so killed by them. <sighs> right. Well, so we're going to wrap things up for this turn. So we've got Athens there, which we need to deal with. Um... Okay, right. Well, that's where we're going to wrap it up for now, guys. So, as always, I uh, do appreciate your comments, feedback, advice. Um, obviously, I know I've got a dangerous situation here, but as long as we don't go into civil war, I'm happy. We finally, I say finally, we've hopefully got Rome finally, finally on the ropes. So, we are continuing our push. These guys are taking attrition. I built too much up and they haven't pushed to take these guys. Pontus, you're, you're in my lands and you're not at war with me. What are you doing? Sort your lives out. I will listen. I, I would love trade with you. <laughs> sort your lives out. I would love to trade with you. Be welcome and may Hermes oh, bless. No, I don't want that. Um, no, 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 no. So we'll let them go to the third if they need to. These guys are holding up here. Right. Until next time, don't forget to comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride in joining the Legion. Until next time, ciao for now.